Welcome to Unity, where cultural diversity is sought after and explored. Today, we're going to visit with the National Education Association with special guest, First Lady Michelle Obama. We are here at the Library of Congress to celebrate the 2010 kickoff of Read Across America, and it's the 106th birthday of Dr. Zeus. Today's very special event is being hosted by the Librarian of Congress, Dr. James Billington. He has very special guests, U.S. Secretary of Education, Mr. Arnie Duncan, and another special reading by our First Lady, Michelle Obama. Today we will be speaking with the President of the National Education Association, Mr. Dennis Van Rogel. about anything. And if you could stand up, please, so we can hear you and be nice and loud. I'm Elena. What's your favorite book? Oh, I have so many. All of the Dr. Seuss books. All right. And uh, Horton Hatches the Egg is actually my favorite kids' book. Um, but our whole house, one of our favorite books is Where the Wild Things Are. Have you all read that? Did you see the movie? Roar, it's terrible roar. That's one of the president's favorite kids' books. My name is Patrick Rucker, and mm -hmm. I was wondering, mm -hmm. uh, how does it feel like being in the president's, I mean, the Oval Office? Yeah. You know, the surprising thing is that it's smaller than it looks on TV, you know? I thought it was going to be this big room. I thought it was as big as this room. It's not. It's smaller. It's a, it is an oval shape. Yeah, it's shaped like an oval. But it's, it's pretty... It makes you feel very proud, right? Because you think of all the other people, all the other presidents and all the other families who uh, served in that office, how many people sat at that desk and the kinds of important things that they made happen. And to think that you could be a part of that history that one day in decades to come, somebody is going to be talking about the time that the Obama family was in the White House. So it makes us feel like we've got to you know, take our responsibility seriously and do good things while we're there so that we don't embarrass our mothers. <laughs> What's your favorite place in the White House? My favorite place? That's a good question. You know, the, there's when you look on the South Lawn, which is like the backyard, you see a balcony. And it's called the Truman Balcony. And you can see, it's, it's a beautiful place to sit. You can see all of Washington. You can see the monument. And at night when it's lit up, it's really, really pretty. And you can see the fountain. And it's quiet. And in the spring, you smell the flowers. And there are birds flying around. And it's really peaceful. And that's one of my favorite places to sit when it's warm. We don't sit out there when it's cold. So we can't wait till it warms up so that we can sit out there. And we can also see visitors at the gate sometimes. And sometimes I think they sort of kind of see us because you see them waving and you try to wave back, but it's kind of far. <laughs> and then when the president comes out, they make everybody leave. So, but that's one of my favorite places. Well, thank you, guys. That's all the time we have. Aww. But those are great, great questions. Thank you so thank much. Thank you, guys. You guys, it, first of all, you all were very good listeners, right? I mean, were these, listeners. you guys Phenomenal did a great listeners. job. And your parents and your school, your teachers should be very proud of you all today. So thank you for being so patient. Can we have another round of applause for the First Lady? And thank you for coming out today and leaving with us. So thank you all. And one more time, let's say, happy birthday, Dr. Seuss. Happy Thank you all very, very much, and your readers will see you in a few minutes. Thank you, thank you. We're the green team down the field towards the wild things. Volume never said Volume's dad, and they all chant together. Get it. Get up! Standpoint, 
filled with various things, like a picture of Pegasus. Have you heard of Pegasus? <laughs> yeah. Pegasus is a horse with wings. wings. Yeah. Hey, welcome to Access Montgomery Television, Channel 21. I'm Cassandra Hill with Unity, and we are here with the president of the NEA, Dennis Van Rokel. Thank you, Cassandra. It's good to be here. Thank you. Now, what does the NEA stand for, for those of us who don't know, and what role does it play in the educational system? NEA stands for the National Education Association. It has 3.2 million members, teachers and education support professionals from pre-K through graduate and college. So we're, anyone who has to do with education, we want them as members. All right. Now, how many students are involved here today and then across America with this Read Across America? Here at the Library of Congress, we have about 300 students from two elementaries in Arlington and one from Washington, D.C. But across the country in the 50 states, we estimate there will be some 45 million adults and children participating in Read Across America activities today. Excellent. And what did it mean for you to have First Lady Michelle Obama here uh, today? Well, you know, one of the things uh, that I think makes such a difference is when little kids see someone that they often see on TV. Mm -hmm. And they see them in person and they give a message about how important reading is. Mm -hmm. I think it's a powerful, powerful message. Mm -hmm. And they were so excited to see her. Uh, it was really special. We are so thankful mm -hmm. both to the President for the proclamation of Read Across America Day, but also mm -hmm. for Mrs. Obama that she came here in person to read to the students. So the Obama administration is very supportive of the NEA? They're very they're supportive of education and reading from pre-K through college. Uh, you know, in his budget plan, he talks about Head Start, early Head Start, uh, pre-K opportunities, as well as getting access to kids at, at the other end, increasing Pell Grants. So he's very much committed to education from early age through life. That is excellent. And lastly, what are some parting thoughts that you would have to children across America and who watch our Unity television show? Well, you know, reading is a special thing. You can go anywhere in the world, you can see anything just by picking up a book. But as I told the students here, you're never too old, too wacky, or too wild to pick up a book and read for a while. <laughs> Thank you so much for you're doing welcome. the interview with us. Thank it's a pleasure having you. you. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank you so much for joining us for this festive occasion and celebrating the 2010 Read Across America. You've enjoyed a bird's eye view and you got to see Michelle Obama and U.S. Secretary of State Education, Mr. Arnie Duncan. Join us again next time on Unity.